Hello guys and welcome to Stocks by Night. I am Nox and this is just a short video and a word of caution on SPAC valuations. Mainly a warning that when you look at SPACs, you should always be aware of the pre versus post merger number of outstanding shares and the implied market cap. Not to make the same mistake as I almost kinda did. Because I was preparing for a video on different EV SPACs, I also had a look at Proterra. Proterra is the US based manufacturer of EV buses, batteries and electric charging, which is backed by the SPAC master Chamaf Paliapatia himself. A very interesting stock, but the valuation just seemed too good to be true and indeed the market cap as shown on Google and trading platforms is actually not correct. As you might know, Proterra merged with the SPAC ACTC on June 11, about two weeks ago. The ticker changed, but the number of outstanding shares has still not been updated and the valuation shown on the common trading platforms is not correct. For example, Google shows a market cap of around 620 million for the current stock price of about $17.85. The same holds for Webull. It shows the same market cap of 620 million at the current stock price. But when you divide the market cap by the current stock price to get that implied share count, you receive a number of 34.69 million shares. However, when you check the latest investor presentation of April 8, they state that the pro forma shares outstanding, so after the merger, should be 240.4 million. The implied shares of about 34 million that we just calculated is in line with the pre-merger number of shares for the SPAC ACTC given down here. So yeah, the number of shares has not yet been updated even two weeks after the merger so be careful because this means the number of actual shares outstanding is about seven times higher and the market cap is not 620 million but about 4.3 billion dollars so seven times higher you get the market cap simply by multiplying the outstanding shares times the current stock price so when you buy a share at the current price you believe the stock is not worth 620 million but 4.3 billion just to be clear when you have no calculator at hand and you want to make sure whether the valuation displayed by the trading platforms makes sense, you can also just check the equity or enterprise value calculated here in the investor presentation. So here they calculate an equity value of 2.4 billion post merger given a stock price of $10 multiplied by the 240.4 million shares outstanding after the merger. That the valuation of 620 million is too low also becomes clear when realizing that it is less than the cash Proterra has on the balance sheet after the merger, which you can see down here. In case you are still unsure, another way to calculate the market cap is to take the numbers down here. You can take the number of shares for the pre-merger SPAC stock ACTC of 27.8 million multiplied by the stock price of $17.85 divided by the implied ownership of 11.5% times 100% gives you the market cap of $4.3 billion. The different methods for calculating the market cap give slightly different values probably due to rounding errors so do not worry too much if you try to calculate it yourself. But how does the future valuation for the company look like when basing it on the actual market cap? To have a better idea, we can take the estimated revenues for the next five years as given by the SPAC investor presentation in January. We can use these to calculate the price to sales ratio, so divide the market cap by the revenue estimates and we get to these multiples. According to the multiples for the false pre-merger market cap, the company would look dirt cheap and it would be busy loading the boat. But instead, the valuation for the actual market cap looks way more realistic, still attractive for a company expecting to grow on average 70% year over year for the next five years, but more reasonable. By the way, according to the numbers showed before, the company expects the first profit or positive EBITDA in 2023, and it expects to be cash flow positive from 2024 onwards, meaning the business generates more cash than it burns from then on. Yet how Proterra compares to other similar EV stocks shall be the topic of my next video, so stay tuned if you are interested in that. To sum it up, please be aware when looking at SPACs. When evaluating SPAC stocks pre-merger, always look up the outstanding shares in the investor presentation and calculate the market cap by multiplying it with the current stock price. Also after the merger and the ticker change, be careful as it may take a while until the outstanding shares are updated and the valuation shows correctly. So if in doubt, better double check. I hope this video was helpful for you. In case you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.